In this video, we're going to walk you through uh, the Threat Community Dashboard. So up here at the top is the Communities tab. And I can bring this up, and this, this gives me a list of all of the different threat communities that I'm pulling intelligence from. And so I'm going to walk you through just one of those so you can get an example of uh, what, uh, might, what you might be able to learn from that. So let's use Emerging Threats. When we click on this, it brings up a, a fair amount of information that I'll walk you through. Right now I'm sorted on a one week view. Let's go ahead and move to a one month view. And the only reason for that is just so we have some more information here for uh, this demo. So we can see within this entire threat community, uh, within Perch, there has been, over the past month, there's been one, just over 1,000 true positives. Now, a true positive doesn't always mean a breach, but it does mean the intel was real and valid. So this is not just my own company, but this is seeing you know, what's been going on in the emerging threats community. What else, what else have we seen in the wider world of all the people that are members of that community? I can scroll down. And I can see it looks like recently there have been a number of Tor relays that have been published. Now there's a lot of other intelligence that's also produced by emerging threats, but it looks like they've just sent in a slew of uh, Tor nodes, which is good for us to know. In fact, looking right here, we can see all of this intel's already been cited in Perch. This is fresh, brand new intel, and we've got a number of customers that have already seen some of this. So very interesting to see that. We can scroll down. And we can even see recent true and false positives within the community. Now this becomes really useful to get kind of a, a predictive mindset going on here, right? One of the things that I think is missing in information security a lot is, you know, what are others seeing? What are some of the trending true positives that others have seen that maybe my company hasn't seen, but, you know, I want to I wanna be aware of that. And so we can see all of the different uh, true positives or, or uh, matches to Intel. It looks like we've got a lot of policy hits here. Um, but this can also be useful in other threat intel communities where you can see, wow, this looks like a particular piece of malware that's been cited. And we're starting to see more and more of this. Uh, we can also see even trending indicators. So some of the things that have been um, trending and what, uh, what we've seen the most of with that different, uh, with those threat communities. So we can walk through and see this for a number of different communities. Let's choose Cisco Talos as another example. So I can scroll down and I can see some of the new things that have been published by Talos. Uh, I can see some of the new uh, true positives. So we see a number of these things. We say, wow, we've seen some, some coin miners going on here. Wow, this is, this is interesting. Um, we can, again, see some of the, the things that are trending. So this is a very useful way to go through your Intel communities and see what are the recent uh, things that have been seen. Um, what are the things that are trending? What are some things that we might need to get out in front of at my organization? Um, this can be a very powerful, helpful, use, usable way to, um, to be um, predictive and ahead of the curve uh, when it comes to looking at uh, intelligence.